Hello, welcome back. Today I will be taking you through connecting your Windows 10 or 8 or 7 or even Vista machine to a network NAS box using iSCSI. This is a follow-up video to my um, second-hand NAS video which I will link below, setting, it, setting up a second-hand NAS. And the reason why people will use iSCSI is it is uh, more secure. Technically, uh, the, it's a bit faster, so it operates better, uh, and you have more control over it uh, from a computer level. Uh, you can set these up on as if you have a home server, or even if you just have a, a laptop, or a um, PC in your house and for the, you can then share access from that machine to other users in the house so here we go so the first thing we need to do is connect up to this the device in this case This is, a, as I said, a Synology DS212J. Uh, the iSCSI would work best across a, at least a gigabit connection, um, but it will work in any fashion across anything slower. You can either, even connect a to an iSCSI machine or device across the internet. So let's log into the disk station. Okay, so at the moment there is nothing configured on my NAS. It has over 900 gigabytes of free space. And I'll just be setting up one large um, pool for use. Okay, so there are a couple of things you need to set up, but the Synology OS handles it quite nicely. So we get to the iSCSI manager, which can also be found in the main menu. This is the iSCSI manager there and the storage manager, and you can just drag those onto the desktop of of the Synology OS. So at the moment there's nothing nothing set up. So the first thing you need to do is set up a target. The target is what you will point your computer to. Okay, so in this case it's set up a, a default target. You can technically call that anything you want but I just leave it as it is. Enabling chap enables you to put a username and password to um, restrict people from connecting to the uh, iSCSI target. So I just called admin. You can try administrator. Accept. On Synology boxes, you can't have anything less than um, more than 12 letters. So if we put, just take it back to admin. Uh, now, for the password, the password needs to be between 12 and 16 characters. So my one currently is nine. So I'll just add something on to the end and 
and there we go so we click next and this wizard will automatically create what's called the LUN. The LUN is actual storage area on the NAS. So we click next. Location is the capacity. One gigabyte. That's not good enough. I'm going to go with 800 gigabytes. Thin provisioning. We don't want to do thin provisioning. Um, there we go. Thin provisioning provides a more efficient storage usage via over allocation. However, LUNs become read only when running out of free space on the volume. So, no real advantage that I can see. Let's just throw up a 800 gigabyte LUN, click next, and click apply. Now, we will need the IQ in later or shortly, very shortly, and that the admin and the password, because we'll need those things to connect. Actually, no, we won't need the IQ in, because Windows is generally intelligent enough where you po throw the point, point Windows 10 at the IP address, and it will pick it up. So it's just creating that at the moment getting an alert because it's it's allocating all the space so basically that space cannot be used for anything else like uh, an SMB share so that's basically all you need to do within disk manager so let's just minimize that go into now click on the start button and then type in control a little bit easier to do it this way and go to control panel and in here is the administrative tools so we open up administrative tools <clears throat> and then here is iSCSI initiator so we double click on that and we will get a warning And that warning is Microsoft iSCSI service is not running. Not surprising if you've never used it before. The service is required to be started for iSCSI to function correctly, to start the service now and have the service start automatically each time the computer restarts, which you want it to do, click the yes button. If you don't have it automatically starting, then if you turn your computer off and on, you will not have... It will not connect back to the iSCSI, so you won't be able to get to your um, your your files. Okay, so the target. Let's type in. Let me just disk station. See, it's saying that it can't log in. So that's the correct target. That's the correct name. We'll click done there so it adds it in there so what you need to do now click connect click advanced down here we need to click enable chat login so the name is not that the name is admin and the password that you configured earlier we did not choose to do mutual authentication that's not a important and then we click OK and then we click OK and there it shows the iSCSI connected and it shows everything as it should be so now your computer is connected to the iSCSI target Okay, so where we need to go next is Disk Manager. So right click on the on the disk on the menu. Go up to disk management and click on that. And it will tell you 
about needing to initialize a new disk. Aha! And that's fine. GPT is perfectly fine. It's um, native Windows 10 file system. So click yes. That's not a file system, it's a petition system. And there we have it, an 800 gigabyte unallocated bit of space. So you can right click on that, new simple volume, next, next. Assign a drive letter, you can choose it to be anything you like. Let's choose Z, click next, do a quick format, name it, new data, volume label, click next, click finish. That will format that will format the drive, the data, hundred percent. And now if we go into File Explorer, we can see the new data drive right there. And it's as if it's a, a physical hard drive on your system. Except it's not. It's on your NAS. Now an important thing to note here is on the NAS, you cannot see the data that is in that LUN. If you go to File Station, there is nothing there. You cannot see, you cannot even see that the LUN exists. There's no shared folder available. Uh, I will take you through setting that up in another video if you want to use SMB shares and that means you connect to that data to that share on the NAS in a different way and that's it you now have a operating uh, iSCSI drive from your computer connected to the NAS in this case the Synology DS212J okay that's it enjoy thanks very much bye oh don't forget to subscribe and if you don't want to use iSCSI I will shortly be doing an SMB based connection option okay cheers bye